Arizona's water future, Governor Katie Hobbs tapped into that critical issue during her visit to the University of Arizona today. The governor's speech at the student union highlighting how her administration plans to find solutions to our state's water scarcity and how to secure Arizona's water future for generations to come. Water conservation is something that we should all participate in. Um, so, you know, all the all the tips that you're that you get with your water bill in the city conserving water at home is really important. We can't um, take that off the table. There's a ton of innovative ways that we're coming up with to recycle water, um, things like in landscaping and things like that. So all of those efforts are really important. In her State of the Union address earlier this year, Hobbs vowed to update the state's groundwater laws under current law. 80% of the state has no regulation on groundwater. News for Tucson's Megan Spector joining us now live from the campus. Megan, you just got out of that conference. What is the governor saying? Well, Monica, this was the 22nd year of this conference, but I want to highlight that this year's event was focused and in memory of one person in particular. Now, this year's conference was dedicated to the memory of Dr. Thomas Meikster. You probably remember that name. He was the U of A professor who was killed in October of 2022. His wife spoke at the first day of the conference, which was yesterday. And today, Governor Katie Hobbs began her speech recognizing his legacy. Dr. Meikster was the head of the hydrology department and admired and respected in the water community by colleagues researchers and more. We're honoring somebody who was so significant to the research community, to the educational community, to the community of Tucson, to the international community of hydrologists. It's hard to express that in words. It's something you feel and we feel honored that we were able to honor Tom Meister. The rest of the conference focused on its theme, water solutions through partnerships, recognizing the work of organizations and people around Arizona, making an impact on our water conservation. Now coming up at five, I'll have more from one woman and her commitment to this very important issue. We're live at the U of A, Megan Spector, News 4, Tucson. All right, Megan, thank you.